Welcome back everybody. So I've had a couple questions on what saddlebags I use. And I use the Shad saddlebags. Um, these, these are the standard SH33s, but they made a bracket that fits the Can-Am Spider. Um, this is not a paid endorsement. I have had these bags on here since I bought the Spider. Um, the reason I went with these bags is because they are waterproof and the Can-Am bags, um, they cannot say they're waterproof. So when you get, you buy the bags and then you have to buy the mounting kit and they're, they're super easy to use. We did have some snow last night, so hopefully this is not frozen. Um, it's locked all the time. So you don't need to worry about anybody stealing your bag. And all you do is you unlock it Pull the, the lever, it releases. This is big enough to put a full face helmet with uh, my, my camera on it. Um, I think these can hold 15 pounds. Yeah, here we go. 15 pounds or 6.8 kilograms. And it is limited to speed, but I've had this thing up to 100 miles per hour um with these bags and never had an issue and then to remove these bags and this might be kind of hard one-handed remove the key so this is what locks it you pick it up pick it up you simply lift straight up you rotate it over and you pull it off so what stays on the spider when you remove the bags is this bracket which I don't have a problem with I normally have the bags on here all the time anyway um, I, I don't think it's overly intrusive you know from the rear you just see a little bit of it you know it's it's this version that you can see a little bit more of it So the two issues I've had with these so far is one, we have some slight peeling and I don't know if it's gonna focus. There, we have slight peeling and rusting. So what I'm gonna do is um, I'm gonna grind all of this off and I'm gonna recoat. Uh, I called BRP since I installed these bags. They are not going to cover them on any type of warranty, which is fine. You know, I'm not going to argue with them. Uh, BRP half the time's hard to work with anyway. So to reinstall them, you put it on that mount there. Make sure this is up. Walk it around. Push it down. there you go so if it's unlocked someone can simply come and, and remove your bag but if it's locked they can't one other issue I've had is this is pulled out from behind this but I can simply just unscrew this and uh, see how this one is I can just simply unscrew it and reinsert it but if you put a bag in here like a duffel bag uh, you really don't need the strap so I might actually just remove the straps completely and that's the only issue I've had with these bags these bags have been on here basically from day one and I just turned 40,000 miles on this thing yesterday um, the color on them's holding up you know they're dirty from my ride yesterday uh, the colors holding up beautifully they do come with a carbon fiber inlay which, you know, with a black spider, you know, that's that's not that big of a deal, I don't think. But, you know, if you had a white one or something like that, I know at one point you could get different inserts. Um, but they told me when I ordered these bags, you cannot get different inserts. You you are stuck with what they, they offer, and that's what you get. So, um, these are the SH33. 
These are the same bags that you could put on a Honda, you know, a BMW. It's just the bracketry that's different. So I absolutely love them. Um, and they say Shad for Can-Am. But, you know, this is the same bag that when you look in their catalog and it says SH33, it's the exact same bag. It mounts up the exact same way. It's just the hardware bracket is different to whatever you're putting it on. So that is my review of the Shad bags. Um, they are absolutely incredible. I absolutely love them. They are not a top loader. They are a side loader. So, you know, if you're someone that likes top loaders so stuff doesn't fall out, you might not like these. Um, but I've never had that issue because I always uh, just cram a duffel bag in there. And you can get quite a bit of stuff in there. So... I hope you liked the video, and like I said, um, this is not a paid endorsement. I've just, some people asked what I have as saddlebags, and I wanted to, to make a video on that to show everybody. Um, they are absolutely incredible. Uh, so on that, I'm going to let everybody go, and uh, believe it or not, I am going to get ready to go for a ride. Can't stay home on a weekend. So... Everybody take it easy. Thanks for watching. Give me a thumbs up if you like the video. If not, you know, give me a thumbs down. If you've got a, a comment or a question, you know, I've had these for 40,000 miles, a year and a half. You know, um, I've been in some crazy downpours, no issues at all with them. But if you do got some questions, put a comment down there, and uh, I will make sure I answer them. Have a great day, and stay safe, everybody. Welcome back, everybody. I uh, just got back from a ride, and before I left, I was talking about these Shad saddlebags, and I said that they can support a full-face helmet. Well, I don't know why I didn't show everybody. So, here is my full-face helmet with camera. Fits in this thing absolutely no problem. So, I'll make sure this gets added in.